Um, we're here with Jessica from the Crescent Valley Brain Exchange, and she's going to show us how to make an Itsy Bear, yeah. which is their take on um, the, uh, what, is, what was it? The, the, the last, last word. word. Okay. All right. Take it, Jessica. <laughs> Thank you. So this cocktail is equal parts uh, Row House Spirits Gin. It's uh, three-fourths of an ounce on each part of these. So we have the gin. We have the Row House Spirits Bear Trap Liqueur, which is a great substitute for green chartreuse in this cocktail, which is typically used. Uh, and then we have this Luxardo Maraschino Liqueur. And lastly, we finish it off with some lime juice. And that's just straight lime juice? Straight, fresh squeezed lime juice, yes. And then we're going to shake it. We have our glass here, which is already chilled. This one is old fashioned cocktail glass. Yeah, it's a coupe glass. We're going to strain it through. And then we are going to garnish it with a little piece of lime rind. And there you go. And that's the Itsy Bear. Yeah. And what's the story behind Itsy Bear? Um, well, I was looking up some classic cocktails to put on the menu, and I really like the last word. I think it's a great summer cocktail. It's light, it's refreshing, it's citrusy, it's herbal. Um, I didn't want to use the green chartreuse. It's a little expensive, and we try and stick to American liqueurs as much as we can. So I actually just threw the bear trap in there instead, and everyone really liked it, so we made it part of our cocktail list. And you have a dog named? Yes, and I have a dog named Itzy. And she looks like a bear, and this is called Bear Trap, so that's where we got that. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you.